So, when we last gathered, the party was finishing up a very strange conflict, fighting what appeared to be some of their old comrades, only come to find out that they were all illusions and such, and that their battle, so to say, was a ploy to inevitably just waste their time, and they were trapped within a space that, to them, time seemed to be proceeding along as normal, but in the outside world, a week's worth of time went by, and while all of that was taking place, Henry and Diabolos, alongside Yashua, learned the truth of the situation behind Diabolos himself, come to find out that Diabolos was not the one that everyone needs to be concerned and freaking out about. It was his brother, Chaos. Diabolos' only real so purpose, so to say, is just to cause mischief and mess with people. He's not the one that ends civilizations, ends lives, takes the souls and condemns them to eternal suffering. He doesn't do any of that. He just likes messing with people. But because he and his brother are of the same species, so to say, and they don't look that much different from each other, they often get confused. And Diablos is periodically upset over that because he keeps getting unnecessarily sealed because of his brother's actions. However, once all of that was taken care of, the group made their way back to their home base, and the situation has not improved in any way, shape, or form, but once they explained everything that was taking place and explained what happened in their little time shell, so to say, Roselia began acting very, very strange, and before long, she took a series of actions that no one had ever thought that she would ever do to where she killed Yuza and herself, and the two of them became one being known as Osiris, and Osiris had explained that she was acting in unassuming secret in order to revive her god in that the cult was acting in her best interests and not of the ones that they thought they were serving and the party wasted zero time chasing her down into this altar-like area to which she swore with her entire being that by the order of her own might and her master that she would strike them down so that way she can accomplish her goal of saving the souls of the unfortunate from the devourer in her own terms and the party vehemently denied her because she was taking away everyone's self-autonomy and from there our scene will now begin right where we left off Make sure I'm zoomed out enough. You the music. God, gotta get that battle music going. Alright, uh let me check something real quick. <clears throat> Alright, so battle has begun. And after the party goes first, the battle order will change. So this is free time? I mean, it's Yashua, then 
Drava, then you, and then Osiris. All right. Something's wrong with my audio for roll 20, though. What kind of wrong? I can't hear any of the... Check to hear settings. Music or sound effects. You might want to refresh. Yeah, I'll do that. Nyeom. Volume's at max, and I still can't hear it. Okay. That's whatever. Roll 20's bugging out on me. I don't care. I don't hear any music. I have it playing. Um. Do you have it turned down on your sides? No, like I have uh, all my volume up except for Discord because, you know, audio is loud when we're all talking. I could just barely hear it, but it's whatever. As long as the audience could. All right. So she turns into this phoenix thing, right? Mm-hmm. I ask, I like, I glance over at Drava and I ask, uh, are big birds like that dangerous? Um, given that it's a giant firebird that's trying to kill us? I would say, undoubtedly, yes, it's dangerous. I have never seen something like this before. Granted, I have seen giant birds, but not ones that want to, you know, kill me. Hmm. Yasha scratches his head in... I'm uh, mm, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> and Drava side eyes you and says, "Please tell me you're joking." You're joking, right? He shrugs. <laughs> okay. Well, what else do you have? He literally taps his head. Signing that just experience. Uh, well, this is a problem. Oh, it, it's seriously a problem. I'm fucking out of bullets. <laughs> Go punch it or something. It, it, it's hot though. Yashua. Aren't you made out of like flame? <laughs> I'm human right now. I'm not an Eidolon right now. It's not like I could go paracausal win willy nilly. Accumulate enough astro energy or else I can't transform. 
Oh, this isn't good. Yeah. You don't have anything else that you could hurt this thing with. And she's going to say, uh, can't you rip energy from things or something? Not, not in a human form. Oh, God. Oh! I know. Yasha just pull, pulls out a box of frost bullets. Forgot I had these. You... Drava very obviously looked like she wants to hit you with her staff. Though I am quite concerned, if I use these ice bullets on it, it could cause a temperature shock. You're concerned about it going into shock? Well, yeah, because I don't know what kind of explosion would occur. It could harm us in the process, too. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, I'm not going to find out yet. Riku, this is what I'm going to do. I'll send you a DM. Okay. Okay. Alright, so you said I have to spend half of my MP for that? Uh... So this phoenix is not Osiris, this is his god, right? No, that that's still Osiris. So Osiris is still in control? Ugh. Yeah, she just is like, you know, she basically went Super Saiyan. I gotta do some... Alright, uh... I'm burning... Three quarters of my MP for this. What are you doing action-wise, like, physically? Physically, his hand looks like it's... Or, like, his whole arm, it looks like it's getting set on fire. Okay. And he just punches the ground. Cyrus is gonna look at you. She's going, going to say... say what, what are you doing? And then Yashua just mutters, lend me your strength. And then summon, and then uses his summon. Oh no. More friends. Alright, and in doing so, let me find that. Let's say that as you sock the ground did your arm go through the ground in any way shape or form like like how how deep in is your arm going depending on my strength roll let's find out we'll say that your fist goes wrist deep all right cool and as you slowly pull your arm out of the ground, a couple of different explosions come off. I mean, go off. And then before you know it, our, our favorite Esper has joined the fray. 
All right, who called me? What's happening? Who who's asked? Do I need to? Oh my, great Esper Lord. Efreda, good to see you. I thought that today would be a good opportunity to fight fire with fire. Well, I'm never going to turn down a fight, so let's get this going. Just, uh... When all this is over... Explain to me what the hell is going on. And also, uh, because this is your first summoning, I'm going to tell you now, you have a very limited time to tell me what to do. Henry's eyes just widen looking at Ufrida. <laughs> like, I would say, at most, you have two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Uh, in two minutes, uh, how much damage can you do in two minutes? Just go ham. <laughs> she gets this very sinister laugh on her face and she says, Oh, gladly. But that's not exactly how summoning works. Like, when I say, tell me what to do, I literally mean, do you want me to choke her out? Do you want me to punch her in the face? Do you want me to use one of my attacks? Do you want me to take some hits for you? It's a big bird, just snap its neck. Okay, if you say so. It is a pretty big bird. I don't know. I don't know if you can snap its neck. Uh, if Rita, after you say that, is going to plant her feet in the ground, she's gonna wind her arm up, and she's gonna let let out a massive right hook towards what? Osiris's jaw. And then, she's going to say, uh, by the way, I have, uh, a little nifty thing I like to do. It's called a fire plume. You should probably tell me to do that. Though, if I do that, your time is going to be spent immediately. Rick, we need fire protection, too. Maybe don't go all out. I was kind of expecting you to have a, like, a flashy move called Hellfire or something. Oh no, that's my dad. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's, um, the, he's the more we'll... wild side of our family. I'm the slightly more refined side of the family. After witnessing her just clocking the fucking bird in the face. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. um, Oh, you. I've never met you before. She's pointing at Henry. But uh, just by me being here, you have a little bit of divine fire blessing. Well, it's not going to last yeah. very long. Henry whispers to Diablo, we're getting shown off here. <laughs> Can I say that again? We're being shown Basically, we're, we're not the spotlight anymore. <laughs> what, what the, the fuck, fuck do you want me to do about it? Go big! Go big. <laughs> go big or go home. <laughs> Um, did you forget the part where, uh, we, we kind of gotta work together on that? Yeah, well, this is... This is in between me and Diablo just talking in my, my head well, for a moment. Well, this conversation is happening between Diablos and Harry. You, you notice Yashua getting a little bit exhausted from the summon. Uh, if Rita is gonna take notice of this, and she says... Yeah, for your first summon, it's, uh, you're gonna be pretty exhausted. 
for the next, I want to say, day and a half when this is over? Oh, I've been through much worse. I believe that, but this is a different kind of exhaustion. It's more like exhaustion of the spirit, I want to say. But the more you summon, the less and less of a toll it'll take on you. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Hell. Henry, Henry talks to the devil. Can we do that thing too? <laughs> Describe the thing. Summoning. No. no. Because. To make, make a, a long, long explanation short, I am your only summon. You can't use That's any That's what material. I'm saying. Can I summon you? Oh, of course not. Power. Not right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Back on track. We have some fire resistance, right? Yeah. Um... As much as, of a, as much of a divine blessing as I can give you at this point in time, you got it. How long will this last? Until you're out? Yep. Is it possible to make it last longer? Um... A fire shining word? So... Yes, but it's going to be more of a toll on you. Ugh. <sighs> Fine, do it. Oh, no. Okay. She is going to take her left index finger. She is going to ignite it. And she is going to tap your forehead. And then from there, she's going to say, uh, the next time you use that little barrier ward thingy you like, uh, it's, it's gonna have a little bit extra kick to it, but, um, you should try to dispel it on your own, because if it breaks, you're gonna be hurting real bad. Come and in terms of, it. in terms of gameplay, uh, your summon has elementally enhanced your barrier technique. Though, if it is broken by enemy action, the damage that broke the barrier will instead be ripped out of your HP. Oof. But if you dispel it, you will heal for a fourth of the remaining HP in the barrier and half of the MP spent to make the barrier. Is it only for him? What if he puts that barrier on somebody Oh, else? it is a one-time use. On anybody? On anybody. So that person would take the HP tool? No, the, they would get the, the bonus defense effects, but if it he breaks, Yasha was the one getting hurt. <sighs> Alright. Um, the summon lasts for my turn, right? And then it's gone? The next? Mm, yeah. So you already ordered her to punch it and give you a little buff. So you've got three actions left you can tell her to do. Enhance fire bullets. <laughs> if Frida, is there a way for you to nerf the enemy? Um, if it wasn't a divine being, yes. Yashua Tisks. Ask her, is there any way to damage it? Any way to damage it? Dude, just hit it with ice. Is that its weakness? Do we know? It's fire. Just pour a bucket of water on it. 
I say this in character, just to piss off Osiris. <laughs> oh, no. Osiris has nothing to say, but her gaze sharpens just a bit. And because of that, I'm going to ask you for a charisma save. Making giant firebird angry is not a good thing. <laughs> Dude, the angrier it is, it becomes unstable. Not a reactor. <laughs> uh, charisma save, right? Uh huh. Okay, so I rolled a one on my side, so you're fine. I need to edit the uh, sheet for this so that the rolls don't go to me. He rolled the one, so the the bird just leers at me. Yashua just scoffs. Yeah, we'll say that. Okay, um... I, uh, Frida is gonna tap her feet on the gun, so, you know, uh, time's running out here. Sorry, it's my first time summoning. Just beat it up, and for your final attack, just use... What do you call it? Flare. Flower Bloom? Flare, Flare Bloom? bloom. Alright, well, here's to swinging. And Frida quickly dashes up to Osiris and she's gonna punch her two more times in the chest and then she's gonna use her her exit attack. Let me subtract this and this. And every time uh if Frida punches Osiris as a Osiris tries to swing back, the impact of her fist colliding with Cyrus' chest is a pretty hard sound wave, and I'm going shock to, waves. Yeah, and I'm going to ask you to roll a strength save to see if you don't get moved by the by the force of the impacts. All just of us me? or just him? Everybody. Oh, oh shit! God. Like these, these are some massive hits. Because you gotta remember, Ifrida is huge. What? Compared to you guys. Oh yeah, she's one big girl for sure. Okay, so Drava was the only one who failed because he needs to roll at least a, a a fourteen, so she's gonna be knocked back a, a wee bit. So Henry grabs the Galeborg and just holds him his self there. Okay, and as for Frida's exit attack, she is going to she's going to shove her her hands in Osiris's face, while at the same time firmly planting her feet in the ground. Her eyes, her hair, and her teeth are all going to glow a very, very bright orange as she does her best to raise Osiris into the air and she is going to let out a very very intense shout as the area and space around the two of them become engulfed in flames before exploding into all facets of directions the f <laughs> Yashua says oh fuck hit the deck <laughs> Actually, not just said that. Uh, roll survival, because this fire is sure as sure as hell coming your way. God. Survival. Uh. Yeah, survival to duck under the fire. All right, everybody, dodge in the nick of time. I freaking do that. 
uh, Matrix dodge where he just dodges backwards. <laughs> All right, so with all that taking place, uh, as Ifrida begins to uh, fade away back to where she was originally, she's going to look at you all, give you a thumbs up, and she's going to reassure you that she believes that you can defeat this and get out of here safely. Thanks for the assist. I'll see you soon. Anytime. Uh, you owe me a fight and a drink, though. See ya. Henry just remembers. I forgot to ask her about Odin. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's my turn. Yep. All right. As for Drava, she uh. is going to cast. Shellra on Henry, uh, also on Yashua, and she's going to cast Faithra on Henry, and then she's going to cast it on herself, and then she's going to fire off a blizzard spell at Osiris. What? Let me check something real quick. Uh, Drava is going to have to roll to hit Osiris with the Blizzard spell. So let oh, me do. Is it because of accuracy or? Firebird's temperatures too hot. Oh, can melt the ice before no, it hits her. Firebird is fast. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's not a hit. So she whiffs the she whiffs the blizzard spell as it flies off towards one of Osiris's wings and it melts before it can even make contact. Damn. But for the next eight turns, Henry, I'm going to put a little uh, buff icon on you. You have plus 70 to your magic damage. We'll use, use that as an icon. And then uh, you also have uh, magic defense up for... 11 turns. Oh boy. We'll use this one. And I'll get the same one to you, Yashua. Yashua just looking at his left arm after it got set on fire for summoning and just looking at it. like, oh, my hair got burned out. <laughs> <laughs> All of the hair he has in his arm got burned out. So, can we debuff him or no? Because he said he's a divine. I mean, I didn't say she couldn't be debuffed, but uh, you're going to have to try real hard. I like the sound of that. going to have to cast Libra on my next turn to see its HP. Or have someone with critical Libra do it. So these, uh, wait, what'd you give me? You gave me a... You have a magic defense buff. Do I have to add in my page with advantage for it, or? No, I, I have it written down on my side. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Henry's is eleven turns. Yours is eight turns. Okay. It's Henry's turn after all that, right? Mm hmm. Thank you, what I'm gonna do. Take time. Alright, uh, did I get Limit Break Energy for summoning? No. No? Not after the damage Ifrida did? Nope, because you didn't deal that damage. The summon did. Okay. 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 First, I'm going to do it. So what was my limit break energy at last time? I swear it was at zero. I'm going to use my diamond bagel first. <laughs> it's not It's not even at zero. Not it's just, uh, just in an case. empty box. Henry ain't the tank is before. <laughs> okay. Magic um, tank? All right. For that, I will give you... That simple. Okay, so I'm going to cast Illusion. Do this. So I'll cast the Illusion, but I'll imbue it with Blizzard, since Blizzard is a small spell. I wish we had a Necromancer on the team to res these three dead guys and have, have them fight for us. <laughs> And the illusion will take the form of a small bird. Okay. Uh, let me double check to make sure I have a small bird uh, asset. So is it just like a little carbon, like a little miniature of the phoenix? No, no, no. Just, just a small bird. Very petite, very tiny. Hard to see. So what, a hummingbird? Yeah, basically. <laughs> a black little hummingbird. Hmm, I don't have... Or rather, I can't find a... Bird. Do you have a bat? Uh... I think I got one somewhere. Actually, um, let's just use this as a placeholder. Okay, that's fine. What is that? Some. It's a crow. That's fine. That's perfect. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Crow rider over here. And I'm allowed to instruct it, right? Uh, you can give it very basic instructions. As by basic, I mean, go over here, go over there. Can I give it a two-step instruction? Like, go here, and when I say this, do this. Um... You're gonna have to roll intelligence for it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, here's my intelligence roll. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment! <laughs> Your time to shine. Bro, how the fuck I roll a one and all right? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> great. Lady Luck is on our side today. God damn! All right, um, so I rolled an eighteen, and a thirty-two clearly beats an eighteen. So what exactly are you saying to it? I'm going to instruct it to go straight up. When cast the lizard, it goes straight for the eyes, not straight down. So you're sending it up into the air. And when you cast Blizzard, it is going to make a beeline for her eyes. For the eyes, yeah. Okay. Uh, Wait, can Illusions attack? As far it's as like... It's with Blizzard! <laughs> as far as like making... Oh, I see! Collisions okay. with things because of Henry literally having a level zero Illusion spell. If you tell it to like tackle something, I'll let it pass as an attack. But if you're like, oh, cast my limb break with me, fuck no. 
<laughs> Fuck no, no. no. not I, yet. I'm just using it to blind it at this point, that's it. Okay. Just slam yourself into it, that's all I need, okay? When the time's right. So, you're casting Blizzard, the crow is gonna fly into the blizzard, so it turns into some okay. icicle and just fly into its right now, eyes. the bird is imbued with blizzard. So it's oh. an ice bird. I see what you're. Okay, so that's when I cast Blizzard, distraction Blizzard, bird into bird eye, basically. Can an aerial I ace its eye? Gotcha. Basically. Yes. <laughs> All right. My man, you're using your head. I'm glad. So that was one, two, three moves. So yep. Far. Yep. Okay, I'm going to try slow it. So I'm going to cast slow. Okay, uh... Let me double check Osiris' debuff resist. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <sighs> I'm good. <clears throat> Ugh. Alright, Osiris has the debuff resist of 24. 12 minus 32 is 8, so I'm gonna roll them. So. Alright, so she's getting slowed, but the 9 turn duration will instead be 5. Yeah, that's good. And gravity just pulls things to the ground, right? Yeah, but. Uh, I'm gonna tell you now, it's not gonna work because how fucking massive she is. I have gravity boosted. I can ask Diablo. <laughs> can, we, Diablo can we try this? <laughs> hey, hang on, I'm making sure this icon show up. It's fucking tiny. Okay. okay. Oh, we haven't used Libra, right? Maybe that's best. I uh, use Libra first. What's the difference between my Libra and Critical Libra again? Critical Libra lets you see specific details like like stats and attacks and weaknesses. Your Libra just lets you see basic information. There, uh, Critical okay. Libra. That's my last move for the turn. Alright, let me just like, type that up. What kind of actions do you do when you use Critical Libra? Like, like, do you just pull out some fucking magic bon binoculars? Well, because uh, Henry has Odin's crystal and he isn't like, you know, fused with Odin. He pulls out the crystal and... Uh, he's through the crystal. Yeah, he, he looks through the crystal and that's how he gets the information. Oh, that's cool. You just pull out a shiny rock. Can we just say it. Odin's crystal is like on a chain that I just pull it out just in case and just put it back. Like in a necklace? Pocket. Yeah, like a necklace thing. There but you in go. In my pocket, I just pull it out, look, and then uh, back in. Sure. You're gonna have to actually put them on a necklace later on, though. Yeah. All right, tight. Henry pulls out a rock. It looks through it. Critical Libra. Yashua just blinks twice in Libra. <laughs> Until I find a way to imbue myself. <laughs> hmm. Start putting rocks into my arms. <laughs> well, like ruin infusement? Basically. Pretty sure we have to go through Diablo's book and figure out what's in there, right? <laughs> uh, we can find that out at a later date and time. Yep, exactly. Right now we have to think about the moment. <laughs> this bitch better drop a materia. Oh, you're the Tifa class. I forgot about that. I don't want to punch a phoenix, because I don't want to melt my hands. I mean, I didn't say you'd be melting. You know, just, just fuck around and find out. 
I didn't mean hey, to enter. But buddy, it's common sense. If you punch something that's hot, you're gonna get burned. <laughs> I didn't mean to hit enter. Uh, that was my bad. And he slowed for four turns. She. Is that? Oh, she. She's slowed for four of her own turns or four of everybody's turns? Four of her own turns. Level 30, 50k HP, 700 attack, 700 oh, defense. Right, I need to display her shit. 222 speed. Bitch, I'm faster! <laughs> How much does Blow take off of that speed? 20 points. I'm faster than this fucking phoenix by three points. <laughs> Wait, what happens if he's faster than her? Then he's gonna be going first. I mean, you know, granted, because of his natural speed, he's already going first ahead of everybody else. But, um, when regular turn order takes place, it'll be Yashua, Osiris, Drava, and Henry. Also, when enemies attack you and you're more faster than them, they have to roll to see if they hit you. Yeah. The time to keep debuffing him, Rick? <laughs> uh... I'm gonna be an asshole on my next turn. Add more buffs to me, Rick. Add more buffs. <laughs> I, have, I have some skills that allow me to nerf. Okay, so now that it is Osiris's turn. Which skill was it? Pick an enemy, lowers their dexterity stat by five. No, that's not it. So you said I can only summon one illusion at a time, right? Yes, for the time being, until you use that spell a lot more often, only one at a time. And you can only have three out at any given moment. So I could summon two more birds <laughs> yeah in two separate turns yeah that's fine okay uh, i use them two separate turns so for her first attack she is going to look at yashua and she is going to use cursed flame spicy If struck by this attack, roll a 1d4 for it. Oh, no. A 1, a 3? Oh, shit. Uh, mm, okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Silence prevents me from using spells, right? Uh-huh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. God. Oh, no. All right, roll that 1d4 for me, buddy. I, 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 I don't want to. You got to. You got you. you I don't get, want to. You getting hit? You got no choice. I, I, I'm one. sorry. I, I'm lagging out. Bullshit. You are. <laughs> <laughs> you really did it. not look up. Oh my god. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No. Why? Oh Lord Jesus. All right. I can't cure that. Fuck. To the Drava? audience, whoever watches, sorry for this joke. Does Drava have the skill to cure that? Uh, she can cure two of the ailments. Blaze and sh silence? Uh, yeah. What is and shadow? Uh, shadow makes you take 10% more damage from all elements. <laughs> and uh, you are currently suffering from Blaze, which is every action you take, you lose 9% of your HP. 
lasts until right. cured by SNL or hit with tier four ice magic, which none of you have. I have Esuna. I'll be fine. Yeah, but you can't use it on yourself. You're silent. No. <laughs> uh. Silence causes you to be unable to use magic or verbally speak in character. Curable with Esuna or Echo Herbs. Uh. And Shadow, as I said earlier, causes you to take 10% more damage from all elemental based magic. Shadow cannot be cured with Esena. So we're gonna use that for silence. Wait, I have a strategy. Ooh. Quick. I got a strategy, don't worry. We're going to use uh, we're gonna use this for Blaze and that for Shadow. Uh, for her next attack, she is going to use. <gasps> Excuse me. Is going to use Twisted Faith on herself. That's only lasted for one turn. Okay. Do you use a sign language? <laughs> um. Uh, that was action two. And then she's going to use Virulent Glare on Henry. Do I have protection from one spell? Yes, you do. So this is nullified. <laughs> uh, let me remove that icon from you, though. Or you just deflex it. <laughs> Uh, if the Diamond Bangle skill had a Reflect on it, I would say yes. That was action three. Uh, Wait, how much damage did I take from that, though? Uh, before you apply your defenses and stuff, you are taking 567 damage from that. <clears throat> oh, don't we have Flame Resistance, you said? Yeah. Due to Frida? Yeah, but he didn't put up his barrier. Oh, it was only while she was up. Yeah. So so when when you summon an elemental being or Esper, my bad. Uh whatever element is attached to them, as long as they are out on the field, you have a divine elemental um <clears throat> a divine elemental blessing. Unless you ask them to be like, hey, Give me a little bit of extra help, please. And then they will, if you have them, they will add a, add a one-time conditional buff to your defensive spell. Okay. Sounds good. Um, it's, uh, 537 subtract a 9% from AC. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's uh, 567 Minus the nine percent, and then your regular defense. Okay, so five sixty-seven. Five sixty-seven minus regular defense and nine percent. Am I able to ask Diablo for creating spell scrolls from his book? Uh, you can, but you yeah, most likely won't be able to, to understand it. Because uh, remember, everything in the book was in a foreign language to you and anyone else who ever looked at it. And only he can read it. Wait, they're weak to ice. I have a strategy. No, they aren't. The phoenix. No, she isn't. What is she weak to, then? Scroll back Nothing. up. Nope. No, she has weakness. Scroll back up. Okay, I don't know if I'm mathing this right. Weakness, no elements. This. Mental attacks. Yep, there it is. Alright, I know you hurt to death then. <laughs> I 
need a mental attack. <laughs> Riku, I'm getting 20... 24.57. I don't think that's right. That's how much is being subtracted from the 567. No, like, I'm trying to do my damage calculation here. Mm -hmm. But I keep on getting 24.57. Alright, hang on. So which part did you do first? Did you do the 567 minus 294? Yeah. Alright. And then from there you did the 9%? Yep. So, you subtract the 2457 from the 273, and you're taking 248. Okay. Uh, that was action three for Osiris. Uh, she is going to use... Phoenix Strike... On, excuse me. On Yashua, but she has to roll to see if she hits you or if she flies right past you. Damn, she won her roll by one point. All right. Uh. You can either attempt to dodge, use a reaction that is available to you, or brace for impact. Uh, hold on. Uh. Okay, I'm at 1658. Alright, what happened? She's gonna do what now? She is charging towards you with Phoenix Strike. Uh, she did pass on her roll, so if you fail your attempt to dodge, or if you decide to use a reaction, you are getting hit. I'll attempt to dodge. Okay, uh, please use a dexterity saving throw. Alright, she flew past you, but she is now on a collision course with Henry. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> I sidestepped, and it's going straight for you. Dodge! I try to dodge all the way. Uh, you can with the same roll. Okay, I'm gonna try. I know I'm gonna slip and fall. Watch. Yeah. Yeah, you're eating shit, buddy. No. What have I done? So her attack connects with Henry, and you are hit in such a manner where you are. You are knocked back a few feet, and you. Your, your regular damage calculation before defenses are applied is oh, wrong number. 510 points. Before? Yeah, before defenses and all the stuff is applied. To be more mindful of who's behind me now. I'm down to 930. Ugh. No, no matter, matter your, your efforts, efforts, you will, will not leave this place, place alive. alive. Yashua just says, fuck oh. you. <laughs> oh wait, he can't. He's muted. He just flips her off. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. Doesn't she move with that, though? Yeah, uh, let me move her uh, token. This 
It's all part of the strategy. I want her closer. That's perfect. Just leave the bird token there. Okay. Because <laughs> it, it, the bird's up in the air right now, right? <laughs> yeah. It's all part of my plan, Rick. Don't worry. <laughs> I languages. <laughs> Alright, it is now... <clears throat> yeah, she was turned again. I don't know why I'm clearing my thoughts so much today. You see Yashua trying to yell, but you can't. <laughs> Does Yashua have enough strength to hold the Phoenix down? Oh, of course not. <laughs> she, she is the size of a building in comparison to all, all three of you. Like... If... If I was able to use the map that I wanted to, but because of Road 20 constraints, she would be encompassing over half the map in size. You forget, I'm human right now. Also that. If I was an idol on, I could fucking put her in a headlock, but I can't do that right now. Oh, it's my turn. Uh, mm, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> uh, Riku, remind me, uh, how does the armor shredder look like? How's the armor? It's, uh, it's, it's the weapon I bought off, uh, Zero. Like, what is it? Like, uh, a mean-looking assault rifle? Oh, yeah, yeah, I had to, I had to remember. Yeah, it's a pretty sick, nasty-looking assault rifle. Okay. So you see Yashua loading Ice 3 bullets with malicious intent. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I'm gonna roll Intimidation for that. Okay, I wanna have her do a save throw. Mmm. All right, your attempts at intimidation succeed. Get into her mind. <laughs> hey, man, psychological warfare is real fucked. Uh, who's fucking with my page? Oh, shit. My bad. <laughs> What'd I... you do? Oh, my. That scared the shit out of me. I'm all like, oh, no. Nothing. I, I put up the wrong one. <clears throat> all right. Ice three. <laughs> what? She has no elemental weakness, right? Yep, nope, no elemental mental. weakness. Yeah, Bruno, I agree. My dog's beside me. Cider. Uh, costs two bullets. Roll twice, okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Uh, hold on. You're doing all these attacks using the armor shredder, yes? Yep. Okay. Ooh, nine. Hold on. And this. So I'm using the armor shredder while it's using ice three rounds. Okay. So I have 50 of those ice, ice three bullets. Subtract those. Doesn't he lose nine percent HP every time he does an attack? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I'm losing HP, but I don't care. God. How much did you lose? Let's see. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I gotta fix my inventory quickly because I put the the thing the the amount of bullets I have on the wrong side. It was supposed Did he to be do ten side. actions there. Uh, Gunful, five actions. Gunfu counts as uh two attacks and one action. Okay, so five actions. So lost forty five percent of his health. Oh. Okay, so I mean, one, two, three, four, four, four. Jeez, I lost seven hundred and forty six HP from that. Okay, I have a question. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Give me one sec. Okay, so I'm gonna put that here. Alright, what's uh -huh. your question? Can I imbue my illusions with the diamond bagel? Nope. Protective stuff? Like to give to people? It's like you want to cast eight. the diamond shell onto it to slam into our, my allies. Uh, it's like a defense type tactic. Yeah, like a defense type tactic. Um, if it wasn't for the fact that. The diamond bangle only affected the person who has it equipped. I would say yes. That's why I was asking. Uh, yeah, sure. What's your magic attack stat? Good question. Let me reopen that page. You asked as soon as I closed it. <laughs> Damn. Uh, magic attack is 110. Okay. Not much, really, compared to fucking Harry Potter over there. <laughs> or Drava. How much Dr I'm scared to look at Drava's magic attack. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's four times the magic attack compared to me. I'm gonna give her a gun and give her some nice bullets. Okay. After all, so... what you try to use your damage roll comes out to, after adding everything up regularly, and then applying the ice bullets as bonus damage, and then the defense downs that you inflicted, you did 7,129 points of damage. Woo! But I need to apply... Uh, Osiris's defense stuff. Yep. yep. So that's. So that's six, six, eight, nine. I think that's okay. my record so far. Comes out to six thousand four hundred and forty. Yeah, that's 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 my biggest record. This. All right. I used. Ah, uh, hold on. Five, two, four, six, eight. Like ten shots. Sorry. And you did I subtract the ten bullets? You have also gained six hundred and forty-four points of limit break energy. Six forty-four. Yep. And oh. after doing all of that, uh, in conjunction with how your gun fu attacks, where you were actively pushing her backwards as you were. Punching and blasting her, and I'm assuming the chest. So that's. Let's just move her back. I'm gonna move her back here, but also bring yourself closer to her. About. About here. Where? Right, right on top of the altar. Yeah, right there. And she I was. Wasn't it? Uh, I was not expecting her to like be knocked out or like pushed back like that. I ruined your plan, Henry. No, I want her far away. That's fine. Okay. And she was uh at first she was ignoring it, 
but then she was uh, visibly starting to react to being punched and shot like that all at the same time. Since, you know, as a divine being, she's never been hit by some shit like that before. Sign language. There's plenty on where that came from. <laughs> Oh, does it? Does Osiris most damage my life? taken? How much does like? What's the percentage on that? Say that again. So, when you take damage, how much goes into your limit break again? Uh, I believe I said it 10%. was ten percent. Yep. Ten yeah. percent rounded down. Yeah. So that was only twenty. Oh, with that having taken place, it is almost <clears throat> because of speed order. It is Osiris' turn yet again. Just because of that, uh, the burning that Yasha did to himself for attacking, like his shirt is like almost burned, so he just tears off the rest of the burnt shirt. <laughs> Did you minus your 45% health, God? Oh, yeah, I did. <laughs> That's the reason why uh, his shirt is burnt. That's why he just torn off his shirt. So now uh, so now he's not wearing any anything on top. So for her, uh, her first action... <laughs> ...is pissed off. <laughs> uh, please roll a constitution save, my friend. Who, me? Yes. <laughs> this feels like it's turned into a 1v1 at this point. Constitution? Yep. Save? Yep. Uh -oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Outcry. Oh, she's reflecting? Okay. I jinx you with bad luck. Roll a one. Uh, no. That's what you had. You, ha you had to beat the 15, and you didn't. Ah, okay. And because of that, 20% of 6,440 is 1,288. Alright, I'm KO'd then. Mm, no, you're not. Is you you well you now have one phoenix down left. Ah, I'm not gonna use it yet. I'm just gonna lay down. You, you don't. They they trigger automatically. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I mean spawn noises. Respawn noises. So, when you're KO'd, I lose all of the uh, fucking status effects. You do. Because I'm getting you revived. Yes. Right? Mm hmm. Final Fantasy Logic? Cool. Pros. <laughs> Pro strat, right? Pro strat. <laughs> Pro strat, he <laughs> says. <laughs> hey! With hey! FIFA ain't with you. Right? <laughs> I learned from the best. Ain't that right, Aerith? Oh, wait. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Funny part is, both our Aerith are dead. <laughs> I hate you, because you're right. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. So, my, so my HP went to zero, but since I'm getting... I'm rising myself... Uh, how much HP am I coming back with? Uh, <clears throat> well, since it's a regular Phoenix down, uh, you immediately get back up with 100 HP. Oh, fuck. Alright. Though, uh, you still have your, um, your Shellra buff, but it 
didn't really matter since it knocked you out. But your, de your debuffs are gone. That is true. And yeah. buffs, right? Say that again? And his buffs? No, no, no. His... Excuse me. His buff... His, his buff is still there, but his debuffs are gone. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't have it written that... Uh, if you get KO while you have buffs, they go away. Only debuffs go away. I haven't even activated my other buff, the yeah, one with the shining word yet. Um, when Osiris so notices that you go down and immediately get back up, she looks at you in confusion and says, How did you as a mortal get up from that? You should be dead. dead. Intimidate her again. Mess with her psyche. On a raw intimidation. What man of power is this? Bakugan! I'm kidding. Uh, where's intimidation again? Kirk. So he gets KO'd, right? And he falls back. And then, he just literally just jumps back on his feet. <laughs> and stretches. In response to that, she is going to look at you in confusion. And her beak is going to tighten in frustration like she is she is pissed off that you're not dead uh, that was action well action one the charisma save was two hmm. she is going to use She's gonna kill me again. Well, it's only if you don't pass the wisdom save. I hate how I'm being targeted. Oh my god. You're the closest you motherfucker to her. <laughs> it's your fault. And plus, this is an AoE attack around, well, from her, not directed towards you. I'm pretty far away. <laughs> I got somebody dodging. So what, I have to wisdom save? Yeah, only only if this hits you though. Nah. Fuck. Alright, yep. Wisdom save. Uh, fuck, alright, wisdom save. What do I have to roll for this? Just wisdom. You gotta beat a fifteen. Ah, uh, fifteen? Alright, cool. Oh, lucky you. Alright, you're safe. No. Though, as this is happening, uh because you're passing the roll, you're not being affected by it. But you can hear souls in a staggering amount of suffering uh, emanate around the room coming from her body. And you can see that her doing this attack is causing her uh, distress and grief. Wait, that attack is causing her distress and grief? Mm-hmm. Henry whis whispers to Diablos, Can we do that? <laughs> no. <laughs> so that... Uh, what is that attack? Like a wave? Yeah. But because you passed your wisdom save, you don't gotta worry about it. So, like, is it, like, a wave and I just, you know, sidestep or just duck? Uh, it just passes through you. That uh, that attack only affects you if you fuck up the wisdom save. Ah. It just passes through me. I should just dust his pants. Well, it's not uh, like a... 
it's not like dirty. a casual thing and like it flows through you know like, what the fuck is that but you're not like holy shit type thing you know i just look behind me yeah we'll say that um that was action three uh she's going to reset her twisted faith buff and that is the last of her actions. It is now Drava's turn. <sighs> and without hesitation, <clears throat> Drava is going to cast two arrow spells, one under Yashua's feet to pull him to where she is. And she's going to cast the other on herself and essentially swap positions oh, no. and she hit a crit so uh as she is swapping positions with yashua she is going to take the spell under her feet and throw it at osiris's face yashua is just surprised whoa whoa hey don't hey me you almost got yourself killed I know what I was doing! Eh, I'm not trying to see you die. That's my point. Ugh, women. Uh, oh yeah, plus... Alright, so her attack is dealing 303 points of Damage to Osiris, so let me subtract that real quick. I keep forgetting to ask Draven to teach me the first spell. <laughs> the first what? The first level of Roga. <laughs> I keep forgetting to ask her, just, hey, can you just teach me the first level? <laughs> <laughs> I want to teach Draven how to use a gun since, uh, Teaching her how to use a sword is no longer an option. True. Uh, and then for her, I was asking one, two. For her next action, she is going to uh, cast Cure on Yashua, and I'm pretty sure that's a full heal. Oh fuck! He. That's all his health. That's almost all my health. Let me see. I I think that's all my health. Phone calculator. Yeah, that's almost all my health. Just missing like 30 HP. Sheesh. Okay. 1828 out of. Um, I got healed 1828 out of 1850. <laughs> nice. I have a strategy. I think I, I know what's going to keep us going. Yashua comments on the heal. Wow. Your heal. I could feel the compassion in it. Well, you know, it's like I said, I'm trying not. She says it with a very sarcastic and like pain state grin on her face. I'm trying not to see you die. I didn't know you cared. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, don't push your luck, buddy. Uh, so from there, let me do some more math real quick. So with that cure spell and uh, her prior attack, she is at full limit break. Oh, about to go bananas, eh? And she is. This one, two. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Uh, before using Home and Break, she is going to use. Uh, she's going to cast Blizzard as an AoE around Osiris. And she's going to pack a little extra oomph into it and make it so that she can't dodge. So that's. Oh. Perfect. 
That's the all four plus three plus. That's a 316 for AoE damage. Uh, she did not pass the cold debuff infliction, so that's not happening. And then for her last action, uh, <clears throat> instead of uh, using her limit break, she is going to. Hang on. You know what? I'm going to. I'm going to retract that. And instead, mm -hmm. she's going to use her limit break. Right. Because if I went with my I original plan, then... Mm, mm, ooh, yep. All right, so... What the hell is that supposed to mean? Uh, don't worry about it. I'm worried. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, Hold on. Inventory. I forgot to remove a phoenix down. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I wish I had one. I had three, now I lost two. I'm on my last one. Okay, hope just... that we get more from this fight. Well, I'm gonna pluck these bitches' feathers. I'm upset. Alright, there we go. So, 68 plus... I wish my illusions were higher level. <laughs> I would've just sent a bunch of them just to keep plucking feathers. <laughs> I mean, we could try to sleight of hander. Two, three, four, five, six. I, you, you can. I'm not. I'm not gonna say you can't. But uh, good luck. Luck is all I need. Use my illusions level zero to try. Good luck. He said, "Good luck." That okay. means there's a chance. I to sacrifice a bunch of birds. <laughs> okay, so with her limit break, she did... 2,817. And because of how limit breaks work, her actions have been reset. She is back to five actions. Let me punch in HP stuff first. And... After doing that, she is going to. Drave is going to look at the altar, like at the highest point on the altar. She is going to uh, once again cast Eroga on her feet. And then she is going to use her uh, wrist zipline to, in a sense, and I use this in massive air quotes, fly around Osiris and keep throwing blizzard spells at her. So that's one. Zipline was two. One, two. And on Drava's way back, she is going to, in a sense, use the Aeroga spell as a springboard to push it towards Osiris, but now she has to stick the fucking landing. So, let's do this. This is my 20 sided? It is. Why do I keep rolling ones, bro? Oh, she let it on her face, didn't she? No, no, no. The 17 was hers. The dice I just rolled to see what she needed to beat. What's a one? Yeah, so she stuck the landing. Okay. And she is now standing next to... Well, she's in between... Uh... Yashua and Henry. But, uh, let me add this shit up right quick. Yashua just whistles at her like... You got some sweet acrobatics. Well, I, uh... You know, since I've been... 
doing this thing, I've been taught in excruciating detail to use all the tools I have to my advantage. And, well, I gave it a shot and it worked out, surprisingly. So how is Osiris now on the floor? What do you mean? Because you said you toppled Osiris down. I did what that brought her down? Your limit break. Or you just slowed Osiris down. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't, uh... Uh... Slow her down or anything. I just okay. had Drava, okay. like, throw ice spells at her from all directions. Okay. While she was, like... While she was basically spider manning her way around. Or the just carpet Osiris. bombing? Yeah, pretty much. Huh. Didn't know you were capable of carpet bombing like that. I'll keep that in mind. Uh. Hmm. Carpet bombing. Right. We'll, we'll call it that. So I can only cast one illusion per turn? Yes, one per, per turn. turn. Okay, so I'm going to cast another illusion. Alright, is it going to be another bird? No. Uh, what other animals do you have there? Races. Uh, let me... Let me ask that. I've got shit like a... I mean, I've got, like, rats. I've got boars. I've got... I think I've got a couple of bears in here somewhere. Um, go with the bear. <laughs> Right, let me f let me find. And I'm going to imbue it with spike magic. Let me find the bear. Why are you gonna bear hug the bird? No, I got a strategy. I'm gonna give it the same instructions that when I cast the lizard, spike upwards towards the bird's face, Osiris's face. You want to tell me what you're planning? How many how many a a animal illusions you're trying to summon? Only cast three. So. <laughs> okay, in that case, I'll buy you some time. Uh, what did you say you put it with? Spike. Spike. Yeah. Uh. Let's use use this as an as a spike whip. All right. My army of animal. Are you making sure to check your MP when you do that? Yes. Right. I'm still good on MP. Okay. Just making sure. Oh, I gotta subtract what Draper spent just now, too. Gotta wait till next turn to make my last one. Okay. I'm gonna use the bagel again. Let's do this. And I'm going mana charge, so I'm back good now. Alright. I need more mana than that. I'm going to do another mana charge. Okay, that's good. Alrighty. That's my turn. Alright. <clears throat> Henry's learned his lesson not to rush in like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back. Summon animals. Be good. Alright. Yashua. Have at it. Copy that. Alright. Uh, gonna move right in front here. But 
I'm not gonna simply move. I, I want to do like a speed roll or a dexterity roll, where like he just moves in a blink, and like for a moment there's an after image right here and just vanishes, and he's just here. So you're trying to move like super fast. Super fast. Just is like surprise the bird. Uh, I'm gonna do everything I can to fuck with this bird. So if you're gonna do that, I'm going to ask you for an for an athletics roll and an intimidation roll. However, I want to do that, but I don't want to spend two actions though. That's the thing. Oh, uh, so you move? I'm I am, I think I get where you're going. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was like. If you're gonna move, roll those at the same time, and they'll just count as one action. Okay. So, athletics and uh, intimidation. Intimidation. All right. Athletics and intimidation. Damn. I was hoping for a high intimidation. Because one thing I want to do is install fear into this bird. Because it looks like she's already bothered a lot by me. Well, you sure succeeded because I rolled another one and a five. And uh, the more you succeed in your, I guess, mental warfare, uh, at this point... The flames around her body have lowered uh, just a bit. It's ready to dim down. Yeah, they're they're not as bright as they were when the when she first took the form. Yeah. Because in her head, she is struggling to accept the fact that you all aren't one. You aren't taking the side of a divine being. Two. You are opposing her in a way that is driving her back because she saw you all as lesser than from the very jump, even as she was Roselia. And her watching someone who should, by all accounts, be dead, still be alive is uh, messing with her. Messing with her a lot. Yashua just zips right here. And you see, like, an after image here and here. And they just vanish. Okay. Just huge psychological torment towards her. I have a question. And I might have an answer. Can I hate. imbue my like improved my illusion skill with Diabolus power for the final cast. Define this improve to me. Like increase my illusion skill up two levels just to cast a uh like a form of Diabolos there. Just to psychologically trip out the Phoenix. Hmm it won't do any damage or anything. It's just a giant Diablos just to fuck with her. That's a big ass illusion, though. Yeah, but it's with Diablos' power, not mine. Let's say uh, that. Hmm. Just okay. mind fuckery. That's how, it. How about this? Instead of it two levels, we'll make it one. Okay. Increase the MP cost. And. As long as you don't move, he will remain on the field. Oh. That sounds good. That's fair. Okay. Uh, you are going to have to uh, verbally act that out, though. Yeah, that's fine. All right, tight. Are you going to do that on your next turn? Yeah? All right. So I did the... The flash step. Yasho is just like... After moving that quickly... 
He just says, oh, I completely forgot I could move this fast. He's like, uh... You know, like, uh, sometimes when you test new shoes out, you just, like, uh... Tap the, the front of the shoe. Yeah. Yeah, he's just doing that. <laughs> then... Yashua smiles at the bird. Snaps his fingers. And I get a shining ward. Uh, how am I gonna tweak the shining ward since it's the one that Ifrit gave me um let's well, i can't i can't put the um the little buff icons on like aura radiuses and stuff so mm -hmm. let's say that for this ma just make it a different color like a different shade of different shade of red from what roll 20 lets you use Gonna make it a lightish red. Red versus blue reference. Make it pink. <laughs> that works. Alright. So your barrier is up. Barrier is up. Hold on. Is there a way to make this pinker? Hey! There you go. Yasha comments. Oh, pretty. And while you're inside <clears throat> the ward, you can see uh, little specters of dancing flame around it. And some of them graze you, but they don't harm you. But you know that this is, without a doubt, if Frida's doing. Real pretty. Kind of have to... Ask her to teach me how to do this continuously. She's in with... She's literally touching my bubble too. Nice. I wonder if you get... Instead of a, a hundred tick... It's a little higher. Uh... I want to do bullet dance, but I need to look at something. Roll, f roll five times. Twenty five. Need to look at the cost for this though. Ha! No mana cost, just bullets. I got plenty. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do 25. I'm gonna spend 25 on. Actually. She doesn't have a f she she so she has no elemental weaknesses but does she have fire resistance since she's a bird uh yes in the form of one of her abilities but is that ability active oh it's always active okay all right we're doing this then we're going to use ice two bullets for this roll. Uh, okay, yeah. One, two, three, four, 
25. That's 25 ice bullets. And... Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm subtracting my ice bullets. Take your time. Alright. Next turn. Or not next turn, next action. That's five shots. Uh, this is with uh, Ice Bullet 3. Okay, you know what? I'll make it simpler. Uh, the first action, Ice Bullet 1. Second, Ice Bullet 2. And last one, Ice Bullet 3. Okay. Well, they're all... Um derivatives of they're, they're all based off of your uh, magic attack stats so that makes it easier for me okay cool uh one two three four five and lastly one two three four five okay i think those are all my actions all right. Isn't slow over on the Phoenix on Osiris? For her, when her, after her next turn ends, it will be. Okay. okay yeah. So armor shredder, bullet dance, and ice bullets one, two, and three. Okay. Uh... You got some math to do. Sorry, buddy. No, uh, it's cool. It's cool. I have to subtract some bullets. Okay, so I use this one. I got 25 shots left for ice two, 25 left for ice one, and 15 left with ice three. I'm gonna have to talk to Cuban after this. Uh, yeah, you almost spent everything you bought off of him at this point. Well, I still have my well, poison yeah. one, two, and three, but I haven't used those yet because I don't know how efficient they're going to be with an elemental being. Hey, a long way to find out. Fish yeah, I'm not going to find them. <laughs> Cuban might be happy to not see Diablo. <laughs> All right, you have dope. 4,987 damage. <clears throat> she gave me full limit break. Yes. I don't have your sheet up, but it should. All right, cool. We're at 1K, boys. 1,000 voices. So I was going to react very negatively to what happened. Wait a sec. Did I miss something? No, I didn't. Uh, she's going to react very negatively to what just happened. And uh, first things first. <laughs> you scroll through all this attack. <laughs> you hear this, Riku? I'm scrolling so I, so I can see what you did to me. Oh, I just used Outcry again. Okay, Outcry. Oh, do I have to roll Constitution save? Mm hmm. Alright. Plucks. All right. Instead of taking twenty percent, you're only gonna take ten. What's taking ten? Me or the shining ward? 
the shining wart. <clears throat> so ten percent of four thousand nine hundred eighty-seven. All right. So you're, the shining wart is taking four hundred and ninety-nine because of rounding up points of damage. So four ninety-nine. Uh huh. Okay. Four ninety-nine is from. That's thirteen fifty one. Copy that. And then for her next attack, she is going to drop a very large ball of fire on top of your barrier. Oh, she's gonna she's gonna try to break my barrier and I'm gonna get burnt for it. I didn't say that was going to happen. So... Yep, the barrier was getting hit. Well, I know that, but... How much is the barrier taking? 729? Mm-hmm. That should be 622. And then... <clears throat> for her... Next attack... She is going to look at... She's going to look at... Drava. And use Virulent Glare. Just thought of something funny where Dreva pulls out a pocket mirror and it just reflects the glare back. <laughs> uh, just save with her stuff. Alright, that's a success. So she's not, she's, Draven isn't taking the uh, psychic damage, but she is being hit by the fear effect, though it will last one less turn. So instead of it lasting for two turns, it's going to last for one turn. And I'm going to put the appropriate icon on her for that. What's fear? What kind of status element is it? It is a will become more afraid of the current situation and take 50 extra damage per level. If at level 3, you will lose MP equal to the damage you take. Am I correct? <laughs> yeah, it, it's right there in the attack itself. <laughs> but it's yeah, one of but... those uh, special ailments that can only be cured over time. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna have to edit the Ison the Isona spell because it says removes all elements from target. I'm gonna have to replace that and put certain elements. Or just put a list of what it can heal. Yep, yeah, um I don't remember if I said this before or not, but like certain ailments or like certain attack certain boss attacks specifically that have special ailments attached to them, Essena isn't gonna do anything. But if it's shit like, oh god, I'm on fire or I'm being electrocuted, Asuna can get rid of that. Okay, I'm gonna have to change normal elements and later on find a spell that could heal special elements. If one exists. Right, so from there, Cyrus is going to she is going to cast uh, 
She's going to fly over above Henry. And let's just put that oh, over shit. here. She's going to fly over above Henry. Oh, and fuck. she is going to use Dark Tidings. Uh, because of your uh, Diamond Bangle, you're not taking the damage, but you're still going to have to do the Wisdom save because of the 10 on the Curse Chance. Fifteen. Wow, you you meet it exactly. Alright, you're good. You're safe. That was... Pretty sure my psyche is kind of fucked at all times. <laughs> <laughs> One, if your psyche is fucked, imagine what the bird's feeling right now. Three, for moving Are you scared what would four. happen if my psyche gets destroyed with Diablo Simbi? That would be kind of scary. Alright, that was all of Osiris' turn. Her slow debuff is now gone. But because of the, um... Because of Yashua's uh, prior attacking phase, not the one he just did, but the one before that, uh, she still has speed down, but she's still faster than both Drava and Henry. Hmm. Okay. If that's the case, my turn, right? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna disable my shining ward because i don't want it to erupt on me okay that counts as a turn right counts as an action it. yeah so it, it, it counts as an action mm -hmm. yep. all right so i'm just gonna dispel it and just recast it but it's gonna be like my normal shining ward yep but because of the special properties of the dispel uh, what's that at 622? And yeah. I said a fourth of the energy left in it for HP and half MP back. So a fourth of 622 is 155.5, round up to say 156. And then it costs 100 MP for a Shining War, so you're, you're, you're healing for 156 HP. And you're getting back 50 MP. Damn it. I don't want... Fuck it. There. Red. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Uh, well, I'm already full health, so... Is it okay if I could just shoot that heal at someone else? No? Okay. Um... Let me see something real quick. Ooh. You can pass Drava. She's close enough. I'll give you that. Alright. So I get some MP back. What's my MP on? Oh, 200. Shit. <laughs> Just 50 MP. And... So what happens is that the crumbling Shining War just turns into, like, a green ball of healing energy, and I just... Do the finger gun and just shoot at Drava. Alright, sounds good for me. And she heals. There you go. That should make you feel a little better. She is very grateful for passing the heal to her. Though you are looking a little pale. Is that a joke about my skin complexion? No. Like... Yasha just sighs. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> skin complexion. Freaking Yasha hasn't even thought of that. Wait. Racism's a thing in this world? He asks. It's a thing in every world, buddy. Uh... I mean, not so much here, but like, where I come from, yeah, but I didn't see it as that. That's, that's some ancient history I'm not going to pull up. That shit no longer exists where I'm from. 
Good. Uh, let's see here. I did two actions. Mm -hmm. Dismantling, re-enabling. I'm just gonna make you slower. Fuck you. Uh oh, last shot was pretty bad. By the way, those are ice bullets. I'm still just gonna keep using them until I run out. Mm -hmm. Ice threes. No, I'm at twelve. Ice threes left. Cuban's gonna make a lot of money off me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this now. <laughs> Cuban's just in his shop. And he sneezes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's talking about him, yeah? <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Uh, I gotta do this. Right, you have dealt 847 points of damage, and now uh, Jereva is faster than Osiris by 10 points. Woo! I'm going to make everyone fast, don't worry. I should have done this from the start, but I forgot I could do it. It's been that long. Uh, was that? Yeah, that was your third. That was my season. Yeah, that's that's my whole turn. Yasha is just like shaking the box of bullets that he bought from um, Cuban. He's all like, oh, I'm running low. <laughs> okay. So for Draver's turn, uh, her, the buff she put on herself have timed out at this point, but. She is going to sling, uh, she's going to cast one Eroga spell. She's going to cast Spark. She's going to cast Ruin. And then she's going to use Siphon twice. So, let me add this up real quick. I got a fun she, idea. She did. <clears throat> uh, 853 minus. And then. Uh, give me one sec. Hey, Riku. Um, since uh, you displayed the HP bar on the Phoenix, right? Uh -huh. You didn't display the numbers. What do you mean? The. Uh, there's no numbers on the health bar. What? So, like, I can't see exactly how much health it has. I'm just have to refresh the page. No, you shouldn't have to. Can you see it now? Uh, yep. Okay. Oh. Well. Yeah, now it's there. I thought right, I much better. about that. All right. Uh, and then you. Okay, so Osiris just lost 4,320 MP, which is way more. Th that's more than Drava has as her own max, so she's back at full MP. Oh, I, oh, uh, that kind of gave me a little bit of a concern what you just said right there, because I remember playing some video games where if you absorb too much HP from enemies and it doesn't, and it, it maxes out your capacity, but you still have more MP from the enemy. You get minus sickness. Hmm. 
that gave me a huge fright when you said that. I'm like, oh no, Draymond. <laughs> No, nah, you ain't gotta worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't include that into future sessions. <laughs> nah, nah. If I didn't have that in mind for when I started it, so it's not gonna just pop up out of nowhere. No, no, no. Yeah. Next DND. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, and... <laughs> uh, the jury is out on that decision right now. <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. If any of you like the video just because of that, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hunt all of you down. <laughs> all That's right. a threat. I am threatening the audience right now. Not. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, it's Osiris's turn. Um. Uh, this time when she uses outcry, it is going to be going towards uh, Yashua and Drava. Oh, to AOE. So the way outcry works is that if Osiris takes more than four thousand damage within three turns, everyone who hurt her is affected by it. Oh, Henry has it done no damage. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea what you're plotting, but like it's it's. Feels like me and Drevo have been fighting this whole time and you're just there. Whew! Illusions! Magic! <laughs> It'll be worth it. Don't worry. Next turn. Uh, okay. I, I, I hope so, because I'm trying to get this bitch's aggro. Remember, right, we need that mental state fuck. This is the only way I can think of. Uh, constitution save... Where is it? Oof. Oh, fuck. Oof. I failed it. Yikers. Ah, oh, Shining Ward. Whew. So, 20% of 4k? Uh, I... I forgot her exact number that she took within those turns, but... Let's just say... I remember you doing at more than 4,000, so let's say you did... Uh. Wait, hold on. I, I I just heard something fall in the living room, and I hope it's not a portrait I'll be right back. Go go investigate that, buddy. While I go back in my calculator and. Then Drava do that. Let it break. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh God. <laughs> It's more than a quarter of the health. So there's that, and then... Uh-oh. Alright, um, Bruno's dog food was on the counter, and now it was on the kitchen floor. No idea how that happened. Bruno's dog treats? Yeah, like, I left it on the counter, and there was no way for it to fall on the floor, but it did. Granted, I live beside a cemetery, so, eh. Yeah, that's true. Don't worry, I I'm, 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 I'm used to this kind of crap. Just so my power doesn't go out because I piss off an angry spirit. Booga <laughs> booga. Booga booga. <laughs> okay, back here. Okay. So Henry reminded me that uh, Drava's, of all of Drava's limit break earlier, I have to go back my calculator history. I didn't apply that to the earlier outcry. And so, to be fair, damage you did, damage Drava just did, and her limit break are all being compiled together for the outcry attack. 
And your Shining Ward is taking... 1,560 points of damage. Yikes. And because Drava has no Shining Ward, she is losing that in HP. Yikes. Oh god. She lost more than half her health. Sheesh. Oh no. I'm losing 1,000 and what? 1,560. You see, like the hexagons around the Shining War just... Most of them just falling off. Mm-hmm. And before uh, Osiris takes another set of actions, she is going to speak to you all and... <clears throat> She's going to uh, ask you again. Why are you trying so hard to defy fate, reality, and for me doing my purpose? Good question. See. If you and both you and I are after the same thing, we want to destroy the devourer and its creator. I want to restore all of the worlds that were lost, including my own. Yeah, your methods are barbaric. Life without free will is not really life. But you, you would, would still, still have, have your, your life. life. Would, would you not? No. Having no will and being alive. You're just a living dead at that point. Would you would you still be considered alive if you have no will of your own? If you're just simply controlled, manipulated. No actions are yours. It's... That's not the meaning of life. Preposterous. Absolutely preposterous! Oh, cry me a river. You're just mad because you don't have a will of your own. And after you say that, uh -oh. she stops herself from saying what she was about to say next. And this We're gonna get the back eerie aura begins to radiate from her body. And before long, the space around her begins to adopt a dark crimson red glow, and then all of her flames turn black. Ooh. <laughs> Did I strike a nerve? Oh no! <laughs> what did she do? <laughs> When her flames come back to her body, they are wild, they are chaotic, and they are spouting forth from her like a broken fountain. And phase two of the fight has begun. 
as you can now tell, based off of what you said, you have a pretty solid idea that her mental foundation is shook. That's a shook it more. <laughs> hmm. So I was right. You're just a puppet. With a very short fuse. Don't you have any desire to be free? My freedom comes in my purpose. And my purpose being to guide those who are unfortunate to the fortunate lands. Regardless of the method. That's not your will. That's your creator's will. I will not, not suffer, suffer this, this any longer. You're suffering because you want to. Henry speaks with Diablo. We gotta free Osiris. And how do you propose we do that? I'm all ears for ideas. ideas. Well... You know how everybody mixes you up with your brother? Right yep. now, she's not thinking straight. Maybe if we kind of trick her to think that you're your brother, it might shock her a little bit. You really want to try and trick, trick a divine, divine being? Yes, but after I knock at her head a little bit, so she's a little disoriented are you sure yes this is our only option okay i will assist you as best as i can i look at the top part of my Screen. Current objective, destroy Osiris. Switches to current objective, save Osiris. You know how Henry is. <sighs> you know, as soon as we get to the end, end of this campaign, I'm going to have, like, an ally force of, like, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Don't worry, it's my ninja. My ninja way. All right. You know what? This time, I'm gonna disagree. I'm gonna focus on destroying her. Well, you can't hear what I'm saying in my head, so. No, I know that, but I'm saying this as a player. While you try to save her, I'm gonna try to destroy her. She's too dangerous. Okay. We'll see. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, it is now Henry's turn. So Henry starts off by casting Blizzard to start knocking her head around with the other illusions. Alright. Then I'm going to spend the rest of my turn doing the illusion thing. Uh, Where's Blizzard? So I cast Blizzard. So then the bird comes flying down while the Blizzard is flying at Osiris and knocks right into her eyes. It's the first bird. Okay. And then while her head's flying down from that, the spike from the ground goes up from the bear. Okay. But her head's just getting knocked around. And while that's all happening, I'm charging up the illusion with Diablo. Alright. Uh, can you re-roll Spike for me? Sure. I lost it in my uh, my note. Oof. We're going to ignore that, because that was already right. established beforehand. Yeah, it's all the way up. It's like 260 or something. All right. So 
So you did 450 damage. And I'm assuming you're, you, you, you used your illusions as attacks, therefore sacrifices, right? Yeah. All right. Those two don't stay there anymore. All right. Hey, well, this is happening. Have, they have to collide with the object at level zero. So. <laughs> yeah. Do I get any experience from that? <laughs> oh, we'll discuss that later. <laughs> I won't say no though. Okay. Thank free, you. free EXP from Dead Illusions. That's funny, dude. No, it's for the illusion spell itself. Oh. Because it's, it levels up. This is the level zero spell right now. Yeah, because I made sure. Because later on, I can make the illusions like fight. Yeah, I made sure to start right it, that he has to use it a lot. Lighting. Yeah. So do I get a giant scary Diablos token now? Oh, right, let me, let me spawn that. While all this is happening, Yasha takes out his holographic phone and just takes a picture of the black phoenix. Do you know what I literally just did, Rick? I elbowed a pocket pad. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I see what you're doing now. And then I, then he just looks and there's a giant Diablo. It's like, oh my fucking god. this bigger see if if this was an opponent that was thinking straight that type of illusion wouldn't work I'm but sorry. since all the fuckery we did to her as diablos comes onto the field in a <clears throat> dizzying array of multicolored smoke the first thing he says <clears throat> when, when Phoenix, Phoenix is in view is What's, what's up, ugly? How's it going? Alright, Henry, what, what are we doing? doing? Just keep taunting her. Kaiju battle. <laughs> taunting, taunting her, you say? Yeah, mess with her brain. Just keep talking with her. <laughs> do what you do best. <laughs> Alright. So, uh... You seem to be in a bit of a pickle, huh? It's almost like you have absolutely no fucking idea of what you're doing, do you? It's almost like this pathetic god that you serve is someone who's just sending you away to your death. And all the while, while Diablos is talking, his voice keeps changing. And at first, Osiris isn't showing any kind of uh, physical reaction to it, but in her head, she sees the embodiment of chaos and is freaking the fuck out, but is not showing it physically yet. And the only yeah. thing she says in response is... <clears throat> I... Am I too late? Is... Is this... Place doomed? Why... Why is chaos here? Henry just shuts up. Oh, didn't you know? That's the god I serve. And, <clears throat> and Diablo speaks up and he's like, uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's a, uh, he was a pretty cool and willing host, all things considered, and uh, having, having a vessel, vessel for my own is actually pretty fucking nice. 
Yashua does this while this is going out. <laughs> and you rest assured that uh, <laughs> when we're done with you, the world is next. Yashua asks, Is it alright if I pluck her feathers? Go ahead. She's distracted. Uh, to that, uh, Diablos is going to speak to Yashua mentally, and he's gonna say, Be careful with that, because if you fuck up, she's gonna catch the hint. And also, pull from the tail. Those are the weakest ones. Solid copy. Don't you love having the apples around me? I shout that in my head, like... You see, like, a mental image of, like... Yasha with a big thumbs up. <laughs> uh... I would be Actually, right back, but I'm gonna tell you now, you need a pretty high sleight of hand roll. Oh, right. fuck. Give right. me a minute, I gotta, I'll be right back. All right, uh, it, it was your turn, right, Chris? That was everything. Okay, I so. do everything in one shot. Okay, so after your turn, it's Osiris' turn, and then it's my turn, right? Yeah. All right. What the fuck happened to us? Let's see if I can. I'm gonna pluck all those fucking feathers. It's nice because it's like a pseudo uh, limit break. Having the yeah, other <laughs> It just takes all my power for a turn. You know, this, our strategy was never going to come into fruition without a fucking third person, but we could make this work. I know, we could make it work now. We share the rewards, though. <laughs> so it's all good. Don't kill the Phoenix, okay? I don't know, man. This Phoenix is too dangerous. I know, I want... I want to see if we could befriend the Phoenix and then bring her to Cuban. Mm -hmm. Then Cuban could harvest feathers for us and we could purchase them from him. That would mean we have to capture her alive. Yeah, that's what I want. This is an Elder Dragon. We're not playing Monster Hunter. <laughs> I know, but I want to see if we could keep Osiris alive. Uh, the benefits are too high, though, but it's so much of a risk. Yeah, but we'll dim her down and then see what we could do there. For okay. Okay, my limit break, it's maxed right now. If shit goes bad, I could go idle on. I just want either that or the crystal from the Phoenix. Because you already have Ifrit, right? Frida? Yeah, I have a Frida, but... I want the Phoenix. Like, I want it just because I keep dying. It would be a good backup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm fuck. back. Alright, you know what? Fuck it, we'll do that. Okay. Sorry, we were scheming behind your back. Oh, okay, we <laughs> oh, have I a figured. question. Yeah? Is the, in, in any scenario here, we could keep Osiris alive? That's spoiler territory. He's not going to tell you. Like, I don't want to kill Osiris. I want her still alive. Is it like, possible to kill her? to kill her? Because, yes, she is a boss fight, right? Yes, this is a boss fight. Uh... Are we allowed to befriend boss? <laughs> Certain ones, such as... Well, you weren't here for the Garland battle, but... Like Garland, for example. But in this instance, I am going to say 
I will neither confirm or deny. There's a chance. Yes, let's do it. Find me. Ah, <sighs> we gotta figure out how to summon Gerlin later. That's some. That's something that's in the back of my head for a while. But I feel like that's gonna be like a side mission specifically for Drava, though. Because family connections. Yeah, though uh, Garland ha did come out of other characters before, it was unknown how it happened. Hmm. Alright. Well, that's the end of Henry's turn. It's Osiris' turn now, right? Uh, no, it's your turn. Oh, is it? Alright, cool. Uh. Mm. Phoenix is turned, but Osiris is confused the fuck out of right? Yeah, so okay. after Yashua said what he said, it it was Osiris' turn actually after, after she did outcry. But then when she spoke and she changed forms, essentially, her turn ended. Uh, okay. Um, okay. So Yashua's Hmm. Riku, do I have to be right here, or I could just sleight of hand where I'm standing? You need to be very close. Like here? <laughs> yes. He's uh, outside. <laughs> well, since I'm in, gonna be in, in physical contact, I might take some burning damage, but sh Shining Word's gonna take the hit of that. I'm sleight of hands right by. Yeah, you, you're gonna need a, a sick, nasty sleight of hand roll to pull one of her tail feathers off. I'm gonna spend my whole turn just plucking her tail. Okay. Does it have to be a nat 20? Oh, fuck. I didn't say it had to be a nat 20. I said it had to be pretty high. Hmm. Yeah. Like, you're gonna, you're gonna need at least a 16. All right. Uh, open page, character sheet. Uh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> First roll. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Yastra just. <laughs> I just yanked her whole tail. That's all I needed to do. So... All of this, all of this, is gone. <laughs> I just... Whoop. Okay, so... I'm out! Seriously, since I rolled a... On that 24, it's stealing her fucking tails. How many feathers did I get out of that? So... So, my original plan was, per sleight of hand roll you did, if you rolled a 16, you would remove one tail feather. Mm -hmm. But because you rolled a nat 20, you removed two. She has three left. You can't take the ones that are made out of fire, obviously. But the ones that are attached to her body, you still have a chance to remove those. You got it. Okay, so. Okay, so. Are these feathers Phoenix Downs or not? Nah? I They're will just tell you what they are at the end of your turn. Okay, so. Keep plucking. <sighs> Alright. I plucked two feathers. How many more feathers can I steal from her? Three. Three. Three more? Alright. Dude, I'm sweating right now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> mm. That's crazy how you roll a nat 20 and then a nat 1 right after. Okay. So. You screwed that up. Mm -hmm. And. Diablo. Noticed. And he's going to mentally contact you again. And he's going to say. What, what the, the fuck, fuck are you, are you doing? doing? Get, Get it together, together because, because if you fuck that up again, she's, she's gonna, gonna notice. notice. 
And on the outside, uh, Osiris's fl Osiris's flames slowly begin to autonomously move towards your direction. She does not notice you, but the flames are moving. As Diablos is still working his hand at keeping her distracted. What are you doing? They're having a rock, paper, scissors match. <laughs> You have your limit break, right, Rick? Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, good. 17. All right. Okay, so you've got another tail... So you now have three of her five tail feathers. Oh. You now have, nope. You now have right. four. One more. One more. One more. One more. Ah. One more. Yes. <laughs> you have successfully removed all of her tail feathers, and because of you doing so, her stats have dropped by a significant amount. My god! In addition to that, individually, the tail feathers are all single use. Mega Phoenix Downs, but if you want to spend an entire turn trying to fuse them together, they can become a single Ultra Phoenix Down. What does the single Ultra Phoenix Down do? As per what I have written in the rulebook, <clears throat> if anyone has an Ultra Phoenix down in her inventory, the instant anyone goes down from anything that causes harm, the damage will be negated and they will survive with 1 HP. This can occur up to 5 times with a single Ultra Phoenix down. I wouldn't fuse it. I'm not gonna fuse it. No, no. As for no. the Mega Phoenix Downs, if you decide to leave them individualized, if you happen to have a Mega Phoenix Down in your inventory, the moment you receive an attack that would kill you, not KO you, it would negate the death effect, it will leave you with 10% of your maximum HP in combination with a barrier equal to 90% of your maximum HP. Yeah. We're keeping the megas. Okay, I got five megas on me. Two after. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll pass you two. Don't worry, buddy. I'm a team player. <laughs> Yashua has a big heart. Don't worry. Yashua just sneaks, sneak, 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 sneak. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I could steal from her. That's all that you can steal that you can reach. Alright. I just hope there's a Phoenix Crystal or... Okay, uh... I guess I'll spend the last of my turn just moving away from her. Uh, Come towards us! Come towards us! <laughs> move up here where you guys are, yeah. Army crawl! <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> Not even army crawl. I was gonna do the hold on acrobatics and uh, that would be, be a stealth roll. Oh, stealth roll! All right. Stealth. Yes. Good stealth. So I just appear behind Drava and just I tap I just tap her shoulder and say, "How you doing?" Before uh, Draver responds to you, uh, Diablos is going to talk to you and he's going to say, ah, Alright, good, good save, save. but uh, uh, be careful. And whatever happens, do not let those feathers come back into contact with her body. Don't, don't let, let her flames touch, touch them. Don't, don't drop them. Don't let it happen. 
immediately di digitizes them. <laughs> now I see Yasho with these giant Phoenix feathers putting them in the digitizer. <laughs> yeah, because because of how large they are, it is going to take about <clears throat> a minute's worth of time to fully digitize the feathers. Each one? No, no, no. All at once. Okay. Yeah. Keep her distracted. I got a timer. Hold on. Let me activate one, one. the timer. It's Drava's turn now, right? Yes. I whisper to Drava, I'm all like, buy me a minute. If you please. Henry's still holding up the, Di the Diablo illusion. Mm -hmm. like, Hurry up, you guys. <laughs> And Jay was gonna say, <sighs> okay, well, this is part of the course for this line of work, I guess. Um, Trust me, it'll be worth you while. I'm gonna hold you to that. One Phoenix. <laughs> uh, she is going to. She is going to continue to siphon uh, MP from Osiris in order to do her best at preventing her from using any further magic. Let me just uh, get my calculator back out. Damn, How, fucking How much percent? I cannot fucking believe I did all that. I can't believe our plan worked. <laughs> I'm in this. Let's see here. If my math, if my mental math is correct. And then that of. Alright, uh, Drava has further reduced Osiris' MP by another half, essentially. And oh, she 2,600? Is... Yeah. She is storing all of the excess MP into her staff. Dude, if she could use the excess MP as a fucking explosion, they'll be sick. It is Osiris' turn, and through having her tail feathers removed, and more of her uh, MP being ripped away from her, her attack stat has dropped from 700 down to 400. Holy shit. 100 each feather. Can I dual cast Siphon? Uh, yeah. I'll, I don't remember saying you couldn't at any point. I was just wondering. I don't think I could dual cast the Illusions, can I? No. Not yet. <laughs> Honestly, I don't remember what session got me this hyped up, but this is getting me like... Hyped, bro, because... You want to kill the Phoenix, you want the strategy to work out so much. Oh, fuck, man. It's... Damn. This this, okay. this session is just pure hype. So, Riku, this is our strategy right now, I'll tell you. We want to save Osiris and introduce her to Cuban. So then she can sell the Phoenix down. The fuck? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well. And I'll give her a will, and Cuban can actually interact with somebody in his shop and have an assistant. <laughs> okay, well. Since you said that, I will. It's only fair that I tell you. Uh. Um. How this fight could end. And I will say that there are four different outcomes for this fight. One oh my of, god. One of them, yes, involves Osiris dying. The one of the other outcomes 
involves her not dying, but also not being alive either. And other, it, essentially getting the garland treatment. Okay. The phoenix treatment. <laughs> but those are the only two outcomes I will tell you about. <laughs> Meaning that Chris, the I mean, the the I'll save her. No 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 no. He said the gar uh the fucking uh that dude's treatment. Meaning that she could be a potential summon. Oh, I want that. Oh, yeah, we're saving her. We're saving her ass. <laughs> I need that revival once in a while. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I don't want her to be a summon though. You gonna kill her? No. I want her to be a personal Phoenix Down merchant. I do too. Let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> we break the rules, dude. <laughs> we make our own fate. <laughs> okay, Oren. Will you choose neither? <laughs> Guardians make their own fate. I play too much Vault of Glass, dude. <laughs> uh, let me just see if I'm making a proper stat adjustment for her attacks. If All I right, who's friend mask? I can friend the Phoenix. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, it's it was Drava's turn, right? No, it's uh, Osiris's turn. Okay, so it's Osiris's turn. All right. So. Ooh. Osiris is going to. She's going to do her best to. Uh, begin to ignore Diablos's taunts and whatnot. And in an act to get rid of him, she is going to spew her cursed flame attack at the illusion. Oh, fuck. Wow. Well, rip Diablos' illusion. He lasted for. Her. <laughs> It's okay. He he, he he bought me a tremendous amount of time. He did his job. He did his job. And once the once the attack <clears throat> I physically ends, a fire stops coming out of her mouth. <clears throat> Ooh, damn. damn. Spicy, Spicy today, today, aren't we? we? Uh, uh, you, you might want to, you know, know do that uh, brushing, brushing your, your teeth thing. thing. And, and uh, uh, try harder to get, get rid of someone, someone like me. Because I'll, I'll tell you now, that was the weakest shit I have ever, ever felt. felt. Try harder. I he's a level 2. <laughs> freaking, freaking Yasha just folds his arms and thinks, teeth? She's got teeth in that beak? Henry looks over at Yasha. Yes, birds have teeth. I didn't know this. <laughs> don't you know rappies have teeth? <laughs> I don't know. I've never oh, touched a rappie. <laughs> I don't know. I've never touched a rappie. <laughs> so after... Diablos uh, says that to Fien uh, not to Osiris, she is going to uh, cast the attack for the rest of her turn in just pure frustration, as now her objective has shifted from defeating you all to defeating this amalgamation of chaos in front of her that she sees. And all the while, uh, Diablos is going to sit there and shrug off the attack. But after the last one, he is going to say, All right, so listen up. Yes, these aren't bothering me too much. But I don't know how much, uh, how much magic you got left in you, bud. But if she does that again, bad things are going to happen to you. Henry said, don't worry, I got this. Okay. Mind, Mind the, the only, only reason you can do this is with my help. So, 
try not, not to run out of that magic stuff, stuff okay? okay? Okay. And he says, no problem. The she wet. Whose turn is it now? Uh, it is Maybe. back to Yashua. Are you low on mana? Yeah, I'm going to run out of mana. I have to mana charge continuously. <laughs> Where are you standing? Okay, you're right. okay. You're up there. I'm right behind you. I'm, I'm in the back. Just like All right. hiding. You're, you're in the far back. Holy shit! Okay, I couldn't find you for a second. Yeah, for every attack that the that <clears throat> that the Diablo's illusion takes, uh, Henry is losing 200 MP. Yeah, I'm down to. Okay, hold on. I gotta check wow. something. <laughs> I'm literally down to 60 left. <laughs> okay, uh... Let me see something. That took a thousand, oh my god. How much... Okay, you know what? I'm gonna spend a turn coming beside you. My total MP is 1,295. Okay, hold on. I'm down I'm... To 60. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna spend a, uh, an action coming beside you. I'm gonna spend another action. Since she's distracted. And looking at Dia uh, Diablos, she's not looking at us. At least I hope not. Her attention I'm is gonna... solely focused on Diablos because she sees yeah. chaos. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I don't have to roll sleight of hand since I'm not doing anything like that. I'm gonna give you all of my mega ethers. <laughs> How much mega ethers is that? 205 mega ethers. Oh my god, add <laughs> inventory 205. Jesus actually, Christ. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna spend my turn forcefully feeding him mega ethers. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So. You wanna pass me some of those mega ethers too, just like 50 of them? While you're shoving down them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you all my mega ethers. But I'm gonna, f uh, two two hundred and five and actually two hundred and one because four of those are gonna fucking Give me swallow. Two hundred fifty. That's it. All right, fine. Do you have some and you can shove them down my mouth. <laughs> All right, so yeah, add add one hundred and fifty mega ethers and how many? Uh, how much mana do you get for a single? Two fifty. Okay, yeah. You're getting. 250 so hold on that'll give me a thousand if you use four of them yeah yeah so okay. yeah just <laughs> so i'll be good for five more attacks <laughs> and... <laughs> while that's happening dave was gonna look over you to see what the fuck are you never mind okay i'm back to 1600 again <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you're back at a at thousand uh, MP, and now you have uh, 150 mega ethers, which I gotta reduce my mega ethers. I'm at. That means just like I'm going to really need to use the watch of that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm at 49. Okay, mega ethers. All right, there we go. That's my turn. <laughs> okay. We die if Diablos goes down. Dreva is going to... She's going to take all of the stored excess mana in the crystal part of her staff. And she is going to ignite that crystal in a manner that it encompasses her entire staff. And she is going to. She's going to create a pillar of light where she stands via planting her staff in the ground. And she is going to overcharge her Shaura spell and make it so that while it is active for. That's, that's a, interpret that 7 as a 1 
but mm -hmm. for one turn, everyone present is, well, with the exception of Diablos and Osiris, obviously. Yeah, I was going to ask if Diablos got the shield. Yeah, um, she is going to, uh, where is it? Going to cast your and for one attack, she is going to negate magic damage for everyone. But after doing that, she has to hold her concentration and she is becoming exhausted very fast. And to represent this, I will use... Uh, I don't know if you can wait. Let me excuse this one. I don't know if you can see that, but that is the icon for exhaustion. Yep. So she. I have, a, I have an idea. Hold on, before you say that, I'm just letting you know. Javo now has one stage of exhaustion. Okay. Henry communicates to Diablo that we have to go full. Full. Damage time now. So, what you're telling me is that you're, you're giving me the okay to raise hell. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but I have one more little strategy. Make it quick. You know the devil on everybody's shoulder. I'm going to give her one. That looks just like you. I'm going to make a mini you. Just to keep annoying her. Over her shoulder. How are you going to do that? Illusion spell. Level zero. <laughs> just to keep taunting her. Okay. But, uh... You've been... Pushing yourself really hard with that for this entire fight. So I'm gonna let you know now, you're gonna have a real bitch of a headache afterwards. It's fine. It's fine. I got my best friend in the world. <sighs> okay. I'm all for it. So Henry first casts mana charge, so he's glowing with energy. 90! <laughs> yes. Ooh! Nice! glowing with energy! Turning yourself into a Kalog Bulb now? 95% of my mana back right there. Nice. That's the little mini illusion of Diablos to go annoy Osiris. Okay. And then Diablos will raise hell. Give me a second to put a smaller Diablos token right here. I'm kind of curious what kind of damage the Diablos does. Does it do like almighty damage? <laughs> well, we will see. Actually, before I proceed, <clears throat> Diablos is going to ask you. I'm going to ask, ask you this, this uh, one, one time, time and one time only. only. Do you want me to raise a level of hell that will destroy where we are right now? Or the kind that will eradicate Osiris? I don't want Osiris dead. We're keeping her. We're making more friends. <laughs> so, you want me to hold back a bit? Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Put her, at our inch, put her at an inch at death's door. Just an inch. No, 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 no. Just, just make her not be able to move. Oh. oh. Her wings. <laughs> she doesn't need arms. <laughs> she doesn't need wings. <laughs> oh, no. It's been a long, long time. I told you we would 
have fun, but just don't kill her. That's my only rule. Honestly, I don't care. It's if he deep fries the wings and make fucking chicken wings. Phoenix wing, if you want, but... I yeah. will try. No, 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 no. No try. Make sure she's alive. Again. Again. I, I will try. try. Make sure she's alive. Listen, you can't, can't just, just tell of being, being like myself, myself to just leave, leave him and, and then, then hold back. back. You, you gotta, gotta make, make your mind up here. here. No, you get to have fun, but just don't kill her. <sighs> Fine. And after saying that, <laughs> the Diablos' red skin is going to begin to pulsate and gradually change color from red to purple. The per damn, I'll be right back. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> I have. I, I have my limit break ready in case shit goes out of the, shit goes out of hand. Oh, okay. Right by the portal. False alarm. Uh, okay. what was I? Oh yeah, the Diablos is going to open his wings. Pulsating body. And he is going to say this last thing before he begins his attack. <clears throat> uh, 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 tell, tell your, your friend, friend over there, there the one with the barrier, barrier up. To uh, either, either make sure that she, she has 100% concentration, concentration, or yeah, is each make sure that to... at 100% concentration. Oh, fuck, and he's just holding his. Illusions up. Yeah, mm, I want to run towards her and just, you know, grab her and just get her attention. But not my turn. Oh, oh so, uh, that's gonna need, need a little, little bit of your help too. And by, by that, that I mean, I'm, I'm going, going to, to uh, temporarily. temporarily Take control, control of your body. body. You got it. Just don't kill her. And Henry just passes, the, like, control. Alright. So, by your instructions of telling Diablos to go crazy but hold back at the same time, the spell that he is charging <clears throat> is Giga Flare. <laughs> And when he, as he is temporarily taking control of your body, the only thing he's doing is causing you to form a very, very large orb of energy in your hands, point it towards Osiris, while at the same time causing your staff to almost and i really want to stress almost break from the amount of energy being stored in it um how long is this attack gonna take for it to go through like three it takes actions. a turn to charge Ooh. and because uh henry already used two actions prior on his next turn it's gonna go off. Fuck. And because of the nature of flares, everybody is getting bodied. I had the Uncle's Phoenix down. They already been digitized. Oh, fuck. Uh, mm. And the reason he said, uh, Make sure Drava is in total concentration 
because once this goes off, it is going to break her barrier and her concentration. If she is not 100% zeroed in on what she's doing. Okay, so this flare will go off on Henry's next turn. Mm hmm. Okay. Not a while. <laughs> okay, so what's the turn order? The turn order is uh, Yashua, Dreva, Osiris, Henry. All right. Because Henry's turn just ended, it's your turn. All right, burst Not mode. Everybody. <laughs> burst mode. Okay. Um, and for the sake of this, I'm going to play this instead. But he hates Shadow, dude. Love that theme. All right, cool. That works too. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't more. have. Uh, I don't think I have Heat Haze in this playlist for this. Uh, battle. All right, cool. Good enough. Uh, Riku, token. I got you. Let me just do this. Is it possible for me to take control of that token? Um, let me see. It'll make things easier for us. Control by. You should be able to now. I think. Uh, let's see. Oh, thanks. All right, cool. All right, tight. All right, so let's move this guy in the corner here. So I transform. As soon as, like, I put two and two together, I notice you doing that. I said, oh, fuck. And then I scream out, Transam. I turn into a fucking idol on, and I literally grab Drava and like take her way back over here and <laughs> and and I Check literally her. say that again so I pick up Drava mm -hmm. and I move her back here yep and I use my body to shelter her okay I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to roll for Drava's concentration. Okay. This is where we fail or succeed. It's do or die. Oh, oh. I'm safe. Thank. Constitution. Thank. Yeah. Whoa. All right, her... literally holding on for us. Her... We are heroes right now. Her concentration <laughs> was not broken. All right, as for Osiris, Osiris is being annoyed by the little mini demon. <laughs> yeah. She is going to. She's going to scream at the top of her lungs, and she's going to. Essentially declare that nothing and no one will stop her from her given duty because she has she, she has sworn on her very existence that she will do the task that she has been given by her master and she will rise into the air and begin preparing an attack of her own you gotta knock it out of the sky Rick. And with it being Henry's turn again, it is time for the Gig Flare. However, instead of using Henry's stats to roll, I am going to use Diablo's stats holding back. Okay. Rayla should be standing over here. It, it, it's fine. <laughs> we know where she is. <laughs> and, uh,. Henry, I'm going to tell you now, subtract 30% HP and MP from yourself. 30% of what I currently have? Yes. <laughs> well, that one's easy. <laughs> Literally. 600 there. MP, I was full, so that goes back to 30%. So yeah, there. 
all good. And just before Diablos fires it all off, he's going to say, <clears throat> all, right, all right, fuckers, fuckers brace, brace for, for impact. impact. And he swings his hands out, well, Henry's hands out in front of him and lets it fucking rip. Got one. And as this beam is firing off, it, the second it made contact with Osiris, uh, the. What's the word I'm looking for? The rebound effect from the explosion goes back and hits everyone, but. But. Because of Dravos wild levels of concentration plus the barrier that she made because of all the excess magic you all are taking very very little damage from this but you are still getting hurt regardless where's my beam tool i wish these things were a little bit bigger but get away uh i'll be right back okay Here we go. Yeah, this is a this is a, a, a massive borderline room wide beam taking place right now. But luckily it's not right. facing you all. And once, once Giga Flare ends, because of the nature of the attack and the combination that you two did, uh, the illusion is over. Uh, you are back in control of your regular body. And exhausted, most likely. And you are tired as fuck. <laughs> okay. Pounding migraine. I'm back. What happened? Oh, but uh, oh my god, numbers! Yeah, so Giga Flare went off, Osiris got hammered by it. Uh, the fusion, the temporary fusion with Henry and Diablos over. The Diablos illusion, both of them, are gone. And Henry is going through extreme levels of exhaustion. And as for um, the... Huh? Did any of us take damage from, you know, the flare? Uh, yes, though it is very, very little damage. Uh, the rebound effect from the explosion making contact with Osiris' body mm -hmm. has caused you all to take a <clears throat> a collective 600 points of damage. That's divided by three. No, like all of you are getting hit for 600 damage. Ooh. I'm taking damage even though I'm in my Burst mode? Damn. Well, yeah, it makes sense. He's not an enemy. Yeah. It's only from enemy attacks that you're invincible right. from. So, 600 points of damage. Mm -hmm. That's our defense, right? Nope. Just a raw 600. Dude, that's an almighty attack. Beep, beep. beep. I'm at 30. And as Diablos fades away, he says, Alright, kid. Rest, rest is up, up to you. Your body can't, can't take any much more than this. Is the mini Diablo still there? To annoy? No. Okay, so that's gone too. Alright. How much, uh... Damage did Osiris take from that? 8,000, 9,000, There you go. Take her captive! <laughs> Grab her with those hands! <laughs> oh. 
say less. <laughs> but whose turn is it now? Yours. Yeah, you're after me. Okay. Henry's at 30 HP, just out cold on the floor. Yeah, okay. He can't move his body. Okay, okay. Uh, right before I assault the shit out of her, um, I'm Yashua takes a look at Dreva, you know, to make sure she's okay. Whoops, not 56. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. That's better. Okay. Yeah, she's Wait, missing what? quite a bit of health. I accidentally punched in 56 instead of 956 for her health. Okay. So, wait. When I when I'm in my eidolon form, do and I do my rolls right. I, I roll with advantage, right? Uh huh. Okay. Just slap some sense into her, into no, Osiris. No, no, no. Like uh, I'm just concerned for Drava, so I'm gonna roll heal on her. You're concerned for Drava. I'm at three HP. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll heal you too. I'm dead on the floor at this point. Gonna cast heal on Drava because she's right in front of me. But like, all I do is just like, you know, oh, fucking. I keep on forgetting that in in my idol on form, I'm like ten feet tall. So like, his hand is huge. Gently pat her head because like he doesn't want to accidentally crush her. Uh huh. And that simple pat, I do a cure. How's Osiris's mental state now? Oh, her shit is gone. Is she just in, like, shock? Complete shock? Uh, she's, she is most definitely in shock because she is, for the first time in a very long time, she is about to be defeated in combat. And this is her first time being nearly defeated by non-divine beings. I simply just wave my hand at Henry and I cure him too. Just on the floor like thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like a thumbs up and like just from seeing that thumbs up you get healed. With two fingers on his other like head on holding his head like he has a migraine. <laughs> Alright. He just shouts out, Get her in the right mental state! <laughs> so I'm at... 7.80. So, how am I gonna do this? You grab her and shake some sense into her. <laughs> I mean, I could now. <laughs> that would be the funniest shit. <laughs> So, in character, how much damage did that do to her? Like, like her wings are crippled, she can't fly anymore? She is struggling to stay afloat. Uh, a lot of her, a lot of her feathers have been burned off. Uh, her, her black flames have been nearly extinguished. And... Where her mouth would be in her human form is profusely bleeding. I slowly walk up to her. Menacingly. <laughs> does she struggle to fly away while he does that? Mm, no. If she tries to fly away, I could just catch up to her, because Eidolons can fly too. I simply just ask her, just land. In response to that, she says, I will not 
yield to you! That failed. Mm. That was perfect from scene two that it ended in that one. <laughs> Did you read the rest of it? Yeah, I know it doesn't fail, but it's really funny. Wow, she didn't cast her limit break. No, that is her limit break. Uh, mm -hmm. just, uh, if she rolls uh, above... Okay, so... If I attack her to incapacitate her, that will activate. And if it goes underneath a 50, she will die. Uh, yep, but... uh. What I wrote on my side is, uh, well, the math comes out to, uh, I'll let you find out. That, that's not helping. I'll let you find out. That's not helping. It's in your favor, I'll tell you that. Knock some sense into her. Listen, this fight doesn't have to continue. You could work with us. Persuasion. Instead of against us. We're both after the same thing. <clears throat> Osiris attempts to fight you off in, in, at this point, raw determination to see her goes through, but she no longer has the physical strength to continue this battle and she doesn't say anything but she goes limp in your hand so what i catch her no no, no you like did you grab her or were you shaking her i forgot no like i didn't attack her or anything i just trying to convince her while like extending my hand at her oh okay 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 uh, she lands on his hand, basically. No, no, you do that, like you as an offer. Yeah, now that I know uh, the physical scene taking place, uh, she stops struggling to stay afloat, and she instead uh, transforms out of her phoenix state back into her regular human form and falls to the ground. I want to catch her before she falls. Uh, I'm gonna need. To... I'm right beside her though. <laughs> yeah, so sure. like I'll let it. I'll let it slide. So, <laughs> so I just catch her. All right, really cool. Look at Osiris. Did... I've never saw her character model up close. Want to make it bigger? Oh, oh she that's looks hot. like. She looks like the rest of them. Okay. That's hot. That blue eye. <laughs> I mean, really Are you going to romance her? <laughs> no. It's too risky. Roll to romance. <laughs> All right. So, the battle is considered to be won. Where is it? And I, I will tell you now, because of the wide series of events and battles and whatnot and all that have taken place up to this point. I will first off establish that uh, Arc 2 is 95% done. There's still a little bit extra left. And, <clears throat> and all of you, and I really want you to hear me out when I say this, all of you have gained enough exp to be level 20. nice for our main class mm -hmm. yep wait so i just go from 14 to 20. <laughs> yeah you've done a lot of shit without me like giving you your exp because i was compiling all of it up to this 20. point 
now, that means I skipped right past smoke. <laughs> Wait, hold on. He went from level 14 to 20, so so does that make me 22 since I'm level 16? Yes. Yes, that's fair. Alright. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there was there was still some 14s in the party, so that's why I said 20 as a blanket statement. But yes, yeah. everyone is gained enough EXP for six, <clears throat> six whole levels. And subclass gets three? Yes. I'm at level five! Alright, okay, I will do the level... The level up and stat changes after session. Yeah, yes. after I end the recording. It, it's a lot to work with. Yeah, and also, yeah, uh, your victory rewards are gift of the phoenix. Or is is gift of the phoenix? <laughs> gift of the feet. <laughs> gift of the phoenix. Okay. Dude, I'm um, I'm actually. I, I'm I'm actually quite proud that this plan actually worked. I know, see? Yeah, because outcome one was Osiris dies, and you all stop her, but there was there was, there was was going to be another threat you had to deal with. Uh, outcome two was you break her uh, mental mentality and her spirit in such a way where she divides into two halves, her human form and her corrupted form. Uh, outcome three was you die, <laughs> and then um, outcome four was uh, if if you all uh, hadn't defeated her by a certain point, she was going to cast her version of Giga Flare in frustration with not having defeated you by that time and bring down the whole place on everybody so that was another death outcome nice. I like this time I really... happy and he runs over and hugs Osiris how how are you gonna hug Osiris when I'm like holding her I jump onto you with teleport <laughs> you're exhausted Stay back on the matter. ground. I have unlimited energy when I have a will to make friends. No, you don't. I just grab you by the head and just fling you. Not today! <laughs> <laughs> now, with all that being said, not too long after the battle comes to an end, you can hear from the other side of the portal that all of the fighting and the gunfire and the screaming and whatnot has is gradually coming to a halt and before long your comrades come through the portal to make sure that everyone is all right with xander in tow and the first thing that comes out of his mouth is, well, this is quite the development, I see. And with that, session will end for today. I'm going to hit the stop recording button in 20 seconds. Like and subscribe, and I will bring back October. I miss October. <laughs> All right. And.